There have been more British bombing missions in northwest Iraq this afternoon. Two RAF tornadoes carried out a strike to assist Kurdish forces fighting Islamic State militants on the ground. The Ministry of Defence says the strikes were successful. A team from Channel 4 News has witnessed one coalition airstrike on the town of Rabia. The town lies on Iraq's border with Syria and is a major crossing point for jihadists. Kurdish forces attacked it yesterday, but today they called in air support. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Rugman saw the missiles fall. These Kurdish forces have Rabia surrounded and as they wait for the final push, they can hear coalition fighter jets in the sky. Ahead of them is a ghost town, deserted apart from one building, a hospital where Islamic State militants are still hiding out. Then, as we watch, this. Two missiles appear to hit, and Rabia, captured by jihadists in June, and their main supply route to Syria, has fallen at last. <laughs> These Kurdish fighters are delighted at the spectacle which has unfolded before them. They say that the hospital over there was the last building to fall in Rabia and that they can now advance, assuming there are not booby traps left by the jihadists on the roads ahead of us. And these are roads we dare not take, for the casualties have been high. This man was shot dead by a jihadist sniper, and three Islamic State suicide bombers blew themselves up here yesterday. No wonder they look nervous, for the militants are leaving a trail of destruction in their wake, their self-declared caliphate not giving up without a fight. They hate everybody. They are against humanity. They are against Kurds and Arabs. They are wild men. In the surrounding villages, the militants have destroyed almost everything. A scorched earth policy. And as the jihadists retreat from town to town, Iraqi troops say they will be forced into urban warfare to flush them out. Today's victory was made possible by coalition airstrikes. But this is just one battle, with many more to go. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Rabia.